Well, one of the other questions wasn't just about video games, but it was also about using cell phones and being on your phone constantly. One of the things that we've uh, found to be really helpful is um, not just one of the rules in our home has always been that the cell phones aren't used in the privacy of the bedrooms. And so they're only used out in public. So in our loft or in our family room, in our living room. And um, recently one of my son's um, friends has come to start living with us. And so before he started living with us, my husband and I sat down and kind of went over with each other, like what are gonna be our expectations? What are gonna be our rules? Because this is a young man who's, mashallah, you know, 18 years old. So he's, he's a young adult. But at the same time, there's a potential to influence the family culture and, and what's going on with everybody in the home. And so we only came up with two things. And one, one was that we were going to request that cell phones are not used in the privacy of the bedroom or laptops and that they're only used out in, in public. And in order to make even a private phone call, we can go outside or we'll give you, you know, privacy out in the living room, but not in the bedroom. And he agreed to that, alhamdulillah, but even he's noticed that it's so healthy to not have the cell phone in your bedroom because the tendency to want to scroll for hours on end, to look, check it first thing in the morning, to be on it late at night, to waste a lot of time on it is reduced significantly when you're out in public and you've got other people around you who are going to want your attention or you're going to want to make conversation with. So video games is not something I, we actually have that much experience with in our home, but cell phones is definitely, I think, something that everybody, I think every family struggles with it, trying to figure out how to limit it, how to deal with it. And I think personally that having self having that one rule that cell phones are not used in the privacy of the bedroom is can really um, make or break the experience so there's questions about uh, is it okay to give your teenager a phone um, every family has to assess their own child and their own relationship with their children and what they what, not every child is the same and different children struggle with different kinds of addictions. Some children are able to set limits for themselves. Some aren't. They need you know, direction from their parents more than other kids. Um, personally, just for our families, just to share what we did, is our kids did not have smartphones um, throughout high school. And, uh, but with the understanding that when they graduated from high school, they were going to get the latest iPhone. But they, so they had a light at the end of the tunnel. But throughout high school, they had um, dumb phones. And one of my sons said that other kids used to take pictures of his phone because they thought it was like such the, this antique relic. Nobody had seen dumb phones, you know? Um, and, you know, they got, they said that people gave them a hard time and like, why don't you have a smartphone? But generally, if they told, they're having a lot of fun over there, mashallah. <laughs> I want to join that room. So, uh, what did they tell me? They told me, oh yeah, they said that at the end of the day, even, even the kids who don't understand or who make fun of you or whatever, at the end of the day, they get that parents are authority figures. And if the kids say, you know what? My parents are the ones paying for my phone. I don't have a job. This is the phone I get. I got to make do with it. At the end of the day, everybody understands that. I mean, whether they think it's a good idea or not, you know, everyone has their own opinions. But Alhamdulillah, we, we, um, my 15-year-old has a smartphone at home that um, he's able to use to um, communicate on WhatsApp with family, um, but it stays at home. It doesn't leave the house, and uh, that's it. That they, have flip, they had flip phones up until graduating from high school. That was our family.